Last time on La Mulana 2, I was going back through and updating my maps because I was missing a lot of stuff. We made it to Anufn. We made it through a bunch of Divine Fortress, Valhalla, and then we found Shrine of the Frozen Giants. What is it called? But I haven't done anything in there yet. Oh, and we found Blood Corridor. Shrine of the Frost Giants. So, found lots of stuff, took lots of screenshots of lore, uh, but then I got a little overwhelmed because it was just so much to take in. We met corn. We met Carbunko. Hi, fishies. When you load a save, it says finish loading, and then you get a loading screen. Yeah. <laughs> so much loading. Um, I have been looking through my notes. The thing that I really need to sort through, that I need to pin down, that I'm not quite there yet, we've got the veneer... The Alpher, and there's a lot of, like, when there's L Alpher mentioned, there's also Lokapala mentioned. I see those two together a lot. And the Icer, the Aesir, however you say that one. So I'm kind of seeing, like, different races of people emerge, different titles for different tribes that I need to piece together who's who. Um... And I went through and I typed out all the screenshots I took so I can control F and like search specific words. But yeah, that's pretty much it. We're gonna get going. Oh, and who did we fight last time? The Ravens? And um, we fought... Hold on. This one. The gold and silver crab. Oh, and you probably want to see my inventory. We got gl the gloves. So we did some push block puzzles. We got Caltrops, we got Rolling Shuriken. We did a lot last time, actually. I think we got the first, the Origin Seal last time too. So where do we start? Should we go see Phobos? Wasn't Phobos working on something for us? You got gloves, now you can ask someone to duel you. Let me switch out my map. Scary how much more empty space there is. What do you mean? I think it's just below here, right? Yeah, okay, nice. Oh, with items, I know. By Crystal Skull you let me, it's pretty interesting. It seems as though there are 12 of these in total. Among the materials I was researching was something called 12 seal inscriptions. Apparently the various seals can be broken in accordance with the number of skulls in your possession. Anyway, I've digitalized those research materials. I don't know what's written on them though. I mean, they were sealed, so. Okay, interesting. Crystal Skull info for later. Uh, Philosophers, Phobos, Crystal Skull. Fascinating. Skull acquired. An app 
developed by Phobos. It can extract the data from crystal skulls into text format. Words of Nibiru. Ye of weak and dumb body who holds the skull in hand. Hear our mind, fulfill our will. Oh, though we are noble, why do we crumble so? Unable to come down to this land of the puny, we shall impress upon this world at least our will. Yeah, Nat, I, um, I don't want to have to remind you again. Like, if I need help, I will say a safe word. Please. I don't need, like, oh, this is confusing, because I want to try on my own first. This feels like a very vague riddle. I don't think there's... The Holy Grail is meant to be used for traveling to Holy Grail tablets in the ruins, so I have no idea why it's able to be used to travel to tablets above ground. And after the Elder had already moved the tablet somewhere else to build a shrine to boot. That must have must have have been the work of the seventh children. Apparently there are special tablets inside the Eglana ruins that can be used if you possess the secret treasure of the seventh children. Okay. Phobos is very, has lots of useful info. The La Mulana ruins are now a far cry from what they once were. The ruins are no longer alive, and the renovations to attract tourists do not remedy the situation. For someone like I, who has lived there for so long, it's quite sad and unfortunate. Having lived above ground your entire lives, your people wouldn't understand. But for us, these ruins are where we were born and raised. Aww. Okay, that's it for now. If you fall to the bottom and can't pick it back up, you're screwed. Well, oh, yeah, I forgot about this. This is like a mantra spot. This is a face of Mimir. Bust of a Mimir. Lost, welcome in. How's it going? Oh, ow. Who lives down here? Ye who have defeated Fafnir, listen well. The gate has opened. Yggdrasil has begun preparations for the end. The gate sealed by the power of souls shall be unlocked by the souls of the guardians. The gate with the correct number of souls shall open. Oh, well, we did that already. But thanks! Aside from mild headache, oh, I hope your headache goes away. Semi, welcome in. How's it going? <laughs> spikes don't hurt if you walk through them instead of falling on them. That said, this is way too many spikes for me. Yeesh. My ass is gonna be sore tomorrow. I don't think I read that one. Are you stuck down there? No. Oh yeah, and we opened this last time. Right. Little text hints, all the little skeletons.
I should start writing down at the end of stream, like, what I want to do next time, because I, uh, <laughs> I don't know what I want to do this time. I don't know where I want to start. Oh yeah, we got the dagger. That was an important upgrade. Whee! I have two, I have part one and three of this. Well, this is all very good. I want to try to get up here. Oh my god! To this. What was over here? Lola, welcome in. How's it going? <laughs> Oh, I forgot about the mimic doors, too. There's a there's a puzzle about this room that I need to figure. I feel like I need a block to push. Maybe these? Wow. Never had to do that before. Yay. Oh, what the? Why? It's like weird scaffolding. Rolling shuriken actually useful? Yeah, when did that happen? That's so weird. Why? Why? I want it to work so badly. Can I examine it? Oh. You just can't jump? Okay, fine. No, I don't want you to answer why. I'll say a safe word if you want me to answer why. Two rooms in Hell Temple where I use Rolling Shuriken. Nice. Scan the mantra engraved walls. Their words hold power. Those with the Jed Pillar will be able to harness mantras. They will unleash the selection of mantras created by the virtual wise man. Uh, this is in a new Newfin. Cool. Cute little tightrope animation. This is still locked, though.
I really want to get one of those mimics in my glossary. Also, I should probably heal soonish. You can't, that's so interesting. You can't use your weapon either. And we've seen these before, these gold thingies. <laughs> Soul. I had those yet when I first came here. Oops. <laughs> Borzai, how's it going? Music lover, welcome back. Oops, oh my god, I can't get this jump. like a mini boss room. Let me go heal. I'm scared already. Good start though. And we're just here to be silly about it. Yeah. Um, thanks mods. Thanks. Thanks for clarification. You all you all got it. I am like I'll ask things in question form just because I'm thinking out loud, but I don't I don't actually want any answers unless I say safe word. And also, I don't want any answers unless I'm like actually stuck, like no idea where to go, completely hit a wall. But if I'm just wandering around and there's plenty of stuff available for me to do, then we're good. Oops, I didn't want to go to Valhalla. We love Corn Man. We're just here to love Corn Man and Fraud and, uh, Mulbrook. How much can I charge chat for crochet Corn Man? Good question. High demand. Nasty, welcome in. How's it going? I heart fraud. Don't we all? How do I get over there? Like this? Is this even a block in the wall? No. Everyone is being mean to me. Wait, why does that look like a door? put a question mark by it. Give you all my channel points, yeah. If he turns out good, do you want him as a charity donation raffle reward? Oh yeah. That would be cool. How giant is giant, true. Like, what are we talking here? Body pillow size or other? <laughs> Oh my god. Those are my worst nightmare. They used to be so cute and cuddly.
No! Also, jumping is my worst nightmare. All right, we made it. Hey, look, it is a mini boss room. Ooh, Kalia. Okay, ow. Good strategy, Jen. This is going really, really well. Okay, this is not good. Chai, hello. Welcome in. How's it going? First I saw a creature holding a humanoid as a sock puppet. I didn't- I feel like I was just too focused on not dying to get a good look at them. A refill, good timing. You're having a Pixar day at my theater? Oh, fun! But you're getting sick, yeah. Oh, maybe you could just watch some Pixar movies at home. Caltrops and Rolling Shuriken are not a good thing here for an airborne enemy. It's like a. Yeah, they are kind of puppety looking. I wish I could get up to those other platforms. close. I don't think that counts. <laughs> I don't want to fight the land shark. An eye for an eye, yeah. Hi Cavernous, welcome in. How's it going? Wulalunt. Denied. Oh god. No! No, face the other way! Oh my god, Lamiza. We almost fell too. Try again. I think there's a moment where I should, like, jump up. Okay, let's go this way. Iframes, 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 iframes. Shuriken are so much better in this game. Don't answer that, but... That was good. <laughs> Hi, TT. Welcome in. -la 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 -la. 
And I got my little glossary thing. Cool. Leader of a race of snakes. Born and cut off from the lower half of a first child. It may appear to have a human body, but its real form is a seven-headed snake. It controls the bodies of dead humans to protect itself. The tip of the staff is as hot as fire. Creepy. The black dragon Nidog dwells at the root of Yggdrasil. The path forward will not reveal itself to the weak. Venture forth with strength. I mean, we know this already, but... I will screenshot it anyway. It is like a sock puppet. Yeah, I guess so. I wanted to know if that was breakable too. Mantra Watchtower. Oh, I've been here before. Cool. Does it just keep swinging forever and ever? How hot is hot exactly? We need measurements. And now that eyeball is closed. Oh my god. Do you remember the elephant? Whoa! In uh, Diddy Kong Racing? That's who this is. Behemoth. The behemoth is a bipedal elephant-like monster. A master of yoga, he can solidify his flesh, float upwards, and stretch his body. This is the original from which the La Mulana version was copied. The original is far thinner than the copies who became fat and depravity. <laughs> Magus, welcome in. How's it going? I keep forgetting it's Nidog or Yorm... Jormungandr that's going to ultimately end the world by eating the roots of Yggdrasil. And so is Ratatosk chewing at the roots, I think. Alright, well, I want to get over to that room, so... Oh wait, I want to jump down here. I gotta go all the way around. Whee! Oh my god, that was painful. save because we fought an enemy. I have 18 weights. I like the tightrope mechanic. Yeah, it's cool. It's new. Soul, no you. You're awesome. Trav, hi. Welcome in. How's it going? Wah! I wanted to get on that platform. Awesome at La Mulana. Oh, I'm trying. I think this is where we want to be. No! There's the swinging platform! Defying physics! Oh my god. Whee! And this is where the shop is. Wait. 
Llama, welcome in. How's it going? Imagine if it was just a mimic door, I would be so upset. <laughs> Rolling shuriken. For ten. Ten for ten. And snap! Oh my god! Oh my god, is this my favorite software of all time? We're buying it immediately. This is Pim. With a little duck! Wait, where's my little duck? Oh, I don't have it. I gotta get it. Or I could just show you Duck Basket. Uh, Jiggly, welcome in. How's it going? Here's Duck Basket. It has a koosh inside. Remember Duck Basket? That was a year ago, too? No. That was like last spring. It's an app you can use to take photos and read ancient texts. Text. 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 Amazing. Wee oo. Have you bought the Snap app? I'll have you know I made that app. A few years ago, the entire disc was stolen, and so I lost access to it completely. It's an app for taking photos. It not only takes photos, it's also able to read ancient text hidden in the photos as well. It's an exceptional piece of software. Try it out if you happen to come across a mural. Yay! Ten mantras and the virtual wise man who has mastery over them are carved into the wall. Okay. More virtual wise man talk. Mantras. Recipe. <laughs> Duck basket. I have to go for a bit because Aaron's in adult life. Good luck with Aaron's soul. Um, I think we're actually going to take our first break because that's a pretty good spot to do so. So, let's do it. Let me set up words. Music lover, thank you for contributing to the classic challenge. Uh, I will see you all when we get back. Thank you. Okay, cool. So we got snap. So now we know we need to go scan a bunch of other stuff. Where's my my maps with things to scan? Right here in a, in Roots of Yggdrasil. And here in Divine in <laughs> Divine Fortress. Thanks, Trav. <laughs> Ooh, la, la, la. Uh That might be it. Thank you for the 22 bits. What are these other maps? Oh, right. They're Lamulana maps instead of Eglana maps. An outstanding example of a particular type of person or thing. As far as nightmares went, this one was a Lulu. Origin late 19th century, perhaps from Lulu, pet form of Given Ward Louise. What? That's not real. No, it is, I guess. But thank you, Soul Flamer. <laughs> oh yeah, so we're going back to the roots of Yggdrasil. Pikachu! Can I scan in this room? It doesn't look like text, really. Yeah. 
No reliefs containing ancient characters. I disagree, but... This is actually where we want to scan. Whoa! Mantra! That was fast. Photo tour. Can I scan this room? I know, but it's so early. Trav, good luck with work. Thanks for hanging for a bit. The amount of software they give you so early on. Software for saving ancient mantras used to recall mantras via the Jajed pillar. Sick. I don't have the pillar though. Looks like you were able to get your hands on mantra thanks to my app, but there's a bit of a problem. You can use the mantra app to record mantras like the ones in La Mulana Ruins, but you need a relic called the Jed pillar to use a mantra. Once you acquire the pillar, you'll finally be able to use mantras. Yes, we know this already. Uh, okay, now we need to go to... Divine Fortress. Um, I think this way is the easiest. Icer spoke of the scattered stars of what is known as heaven. Those who seek must speak the name of Himen. Sounds like a mantra to me. Hang on, let me copy it. Um, where is this? This is in Divine Fortress. But I can't use the mantra, but I know where I need to use it. I gotta say the heaven mantra. Whoa, cool. Uh, by the busts of Mimir. Scanning is done. <laughs> that went by way too quick. I kind of want to go to the top of this area again. Hi, Mom. Welcome in. How's it going? Everybody say hi to Mom the human. I'm trying to get back to the top of this area because I want to look at that weird spinny thing again. Oops. Except I don't think this is how I get there. Oh, not these enemies. 
Oh my god. They're so angry. For some reason, anytime someone mentions scanning in a game, all I can see is MP Samus and whichever character they're talking about is checkout clerks in a grocery store. <laughs> MP Samus. How did you like that pronunciation? I cannot imagine Samus working at a grocery store. <laughs> She'd be so unhappy. Our hidden treasure that allows one to escape death but once. If you seek it, you must make the climb by Odin's side. Keep the deity's words on your lips as you make for the great cup. Salamis in a sauna. Her blaster would get in the way? She would scan with the blaster. She'd like add an attachment to use it as a scanner. Reminds me of a comic I saw where someone was waiting for Link to scan their groceries. He made the fanfare noise and they were impatient, so Samus took over and hers was longer. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty long. But it rules. What am I doing? Stalling. I don't think I can do anything in the boat room yet. Frog. This room. Okay, I wanted to come back and look at this room. Oh, ow. Unfair. I'm just trying to look around. Can I scan it? <laughs> no. I was so glad AM2R used the, the little shoo noise when you picked up an item you already had. I don't remember. I wish I remembered AM2R noises. Why did I jump down here? find the pillar. I there is a I think there's something in my notes about who's guarding the pillar. Let me do a quick control F. Hmm. No. Oh, wait, it's searching I want to search through the whole thing. Swallowed by Kujata, the guardian of Lokopala creation. That's right. It's swallowed by a cow. And this was in a Newfin that I found that tablet. <laughs> And there's a picture of a boat. Look at this. C 
see? Cow. Oh, we also need to find Frey the Fairy King at some point. Ta, thanks for the good luck. Welcome in. And you know what else I need to do is label my rooms. <sighs> I haven't done that yet. This is where the crows were. Notes the game, pretty much. Utilizing pictures. The only thing I don't like about obsidian and pictures is it puts them all like, just slaps them all into your vault and you have to like take them and put them in a pictures folder. I don't know, it's a little weird. I've heard the trickster of Yggdrasil has been freed. I saw a light fly toward Valhalla. I believe he came back for the purpose of reawakening Verutra. <laughs> no, I wasn't listening. <laughs> a default picture folder. That's what I need to do. Yeah. Um, let's go to Valhalla then. And then let's go to a new Nanufin. My favorite place. Okay, the trickster. So maybe. Maybe I gotta free the trickster again. Maybe I gotta go for a swim. Oh my god. There we go. No! And like, follow where the light goes, maybe. trickster just wedged awkwardly under a pot until you came along to help. I don't even know if I helped, but yes. <laughs> they were just kind of stuck in there. Okay, and then this is where we fought um, the cube. Vu cube. Vu cube. Oh, wait, you can see more of like the blood stains up there. I feel like I should go heal real quick. It gives you a trail to follow. That's fascinating. Adam, hi. Welcome in. Happy Wednesday. I know. It's different. Any place beats staying under the poison dropping faucet? True. Let's go back really quick. I think we're on to something. It's good different. It's early too. I started... I try to start... Before... 1.30 is a win. It's still on time. Because once you get past a half hour of your, like, scheduled time, if you use the Twitch scheduling tool, it does something weird to your alerts. Like, your notifications don't go out, I think. I don't know. Don't quote me on that. <laughs> Thanks, TT. <laughs> I 
Whatever, you all get it. Oh, look, there's another stain right here. Is it a poison stain or a blood stain? Don't answer that. I do remember how to get up there, though. Looks like ketchup. Yeah. It's gotta be. <gasps> Corn! Twitch being like, you're not gonna get here on time? Well, F you. It's just weird with its notifications. blood. Wait. Hang on. A quarter is said to awaken upon drinking the blood of the mighty. Who's the mighty? Is the trickster the mighty? I don't know. I did not expect the excitement around Corn Bungle. <laughs> How could you not? <laughs> Carbunko is iconic. Okay, well, it's weird to me that the stain is by this staircase. Maybe it has nothing to do with the corridor blood. Ow. Maybe that. Oh! What are you doing? Why are you just standing there? Can I break? Okay, I'm damaging you. It's not that I can break the wall, it's that I literally have to beat you up. I feel bad. Oh my god, look at them hiding behind the screen. Oh, rip. <laughs> I got too excited. Can I get there from here? I don't think so. Oh uh, yeah, I can. Okay, this, that was weird. The staircases are cool, but sometimes they're a little funky. No, oh my God, it saved me. It's right there, Jen, pay attention. Stop looking at chat when you need to watch for the trap door. I'm getting distracted by you calling him Tom Hiddleston. <laughs> Wee oo! Yoo hoo! Hi, Torwolf. Welcome in. How's it going? I sure would like to talk to you. It's been a while since you stopped by. Why not swing by sometime soon? Forget about the Elder. There are people inside the living ruins. If you need help, try asking them whenever necessary. Don't forget about me, Zelpud. Oh my god. I'm feeling good, Torwolf. Thanks for asking. Um, I'm glad you're doing good, too. I don't want to go talk to Zelput. I just want to keep healing. I want infinite health. I wonder what happens if you do talk to him. He's like, why are you here? Oh, that's right. I told you to come by.
A video game? Ahaha. Ah, ha. I've kind of grown out of that thing already. Can't waste my life playing video games for years, right? Wahaha. Ah, ha, ha. Let's put the infinite health code. That'd be cool. He forgot he summoned us. Does Lamolana know it's a video game? Good question. Oh, hey, look, we completed this map. I forgot to switch out to the right one. But we have the duck beak now. Or wait. Never mind. Forget I said that. <laughs> Anyways. We've had that. I just haven't been to those two rooms yet. Who was it that said it looks like a, a rubber ducky? It really does. If I stop playing video games while I have ladies around me like Zelpud? <laughs> I can't answer that for you. I don't know, I don't know how Zelpud got to the current position he's in. <laughs> Hylian, welcome in. How's it going? Alright, we're going this way. Oh my god. Oh, what? I thought this was gonna let me through! Jewel. Oh, the animation is very cute. Although it's not as, like, instantaneous. The map is bargain duck. This is true. So now where do we go? Talk to, it said talk to people in the ruins. <gasps> you can talk to me now. The soul of the trickster of Yggdrasil is headed toward Veritra's Ankh. Veritra is not yet at full power. Veritra has not yet awakened. When the pitch black flames engulf this land, the end of the world will begin. Stop Veritra and the trickster of Yggdrasil. You're talking to me now. We're part Belmont. Yeah, because we've got the whip. Have you ever played the messenger? It is on my backlog. I got it for a uh, uh, Christmas uh, a viewer gift. Why? Does this remind you of the messenger? Somebody mentioned it earlier, too, I think. I'm fully welcome in. How's it going? This is a blind playthrough. As much as possible. Please don't answer my questions unless I say a safe word. Music lover, thanks for the love. Soul and I were talking about it. Yeah. Fun to see Blind La Milana 2. It's been really good so far. We're on day three. Currently playing it, I must say it's one of the best games I've played the past ten years. It's so funny. Nice. Yeah, it's it's definitely on the backlog. Uh, I was gonna do a quick search for Veritra in my notes. This is the fortress of the Veneer who defied the Iser who sought to destroy Idrisil. The Calamity of Eritra is sealed here until the day comes for the end. And then do I have a... Oh! 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 I just needed to exit the menu! <laughs> do I have one of these? Yes. 
Originally a giant mechanical serpent, Veritra was fed with the dark evil of the veneer intended to bring about the world's end. This turned him into a violent life form. Veritra's power is said to increase over time, and that at the end of the world's lifetime, he could return the world to chaos in an instant. But that is just a theory. It may yet be possible to defeat him while his power is limited. Okay, yeah, I remember reading this. I know you like the Metroidvanias, I really do. Difficult gameplay broken up by best dialogue ever. Gotcha. A game theory, I know. Bargain Duck! I love Bargain Duck. Hi Dama, welcome in. How's it going? We're gonna get a quick save in. Ignore that other save file. I don't know what to do with it. Oh, oh god. Oh, I almost fell. <laughs> Corn! Okay, this is where we want to be. No, I hate these enemies. Let me go down the stairs! Veritra seal. Okay. Here's the Ankh. And there's a treasure in here. And there's a cool drawing of... I mean, I think Veritra on the wall there. It must be. Treasure! Weird. Wah! Oh no. I don't like this. Oh god. Stop swimming! No! Good, this is- you're doing great, Lumisa. No! Oh my god. I can make it to that other platform from just one jump. Okay, well, I gotta work on my swimming. Oh, that was rough. Ugh. But we get the quick save, so that's good. And the loading screen of the longest silent seal. Uh, Veritra is really cool looking. I don't love the camera, like, moving. I feel like it makes it harder to time my jumps. Oh, that's not cool. Why would you do that? I need to buy more shuriken, I decided. Nope. 
No. Ow. 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 <laughs> Well, we do have a lot of money. Where's the nearest shuriken? Roots of Yggdrasil. Or a surface, probably. Is easier. Sort of like Elmac. Uh, mm, I guess. I don't remember who sells shuriken. Load up. What's my max? Damn. Okay, we'll stick to a hundred. Generally not a fan of how Lamalana bosses seem to have very hard to dodge body hitboxes. My least favorite is Sakit. I hate Sakit's hitbox. Everything else I can live with, but not Sakit. Try this again. Oh, Baphomet. Yeah, her second form hitbox is pretty annoying too. Hi, Mac. Welcome in. How's it going? Oh my god, it's happening! Oh, I already missed. I'm afraid to make that jump. I don't think I can. Ah! Oh my god! Oh my god! You're too tall! Stop being so tall! Oh god! No! No! I can't swim! the scale sphere. When do we get scale sphere? No! Oh god. No, I panicked. There's lots of panicking happening. Oh my god, no! Lumisa, no! Why do you have to be so bad at swimming? This 
sucks. You're moving too fast. You're going too fast. Slow down. What are those? <laughs> oh my god. You look away for a minute and suddenly big dragon. We're fighting Veritra. And it sucks. Better at swimming than most Belmonts, true. She can't actually swim. She just takes damage while she's in the water, which is really inconvenient. Oh my god, why are you so tall? Stop being so tall. Okay, none of those landed. Love that, love that. I hit you on the nose. That one destroys the platforms. Okay, we made it down here. Okay, you're moving faster now. You're moving faster. <laughs> yes. Oh, it was so stressful, but we did it. Yes. Da -da 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 -da. The adventure continues. Thanks for the GGs. Eh? Is this the beginning of the end? Red Tail, welcome in. How's it going? Samaranta, everyone wants to text me in this game. I received your contact information from the Elder. I have a message from Alcidana. I have something to give you. Come back above ground. So creepy! I want the treasure though. Oh, <gasps> yay, scale sphere. Oh my God, we were just talking about it. Oh, well this room's not creepy. Disaster, thanks for the good luck, welcome in. We gotta go talk to Alcidana.
thanks for all the, um, thanks for cheering me on. That was a tough one. Okay, let's use the new, let's use this now. This is after Veritra. a good Veritra fight. Thank you. <laughs> the moment when Bri Bria Spathy is like, can you keep the guy from releasing our big dragon? It's not ready and you just go and kill it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was over so quick. We did it. Ah, you're back. It seems you've defeated the Guardian of Valhalla. Did anything strange happen? Did you see some sort of reddish black mist? Yeah, it was real creepy. Oh wait, we talked about the black mist earlier. That is the source of conflict itself, and the physical embodiment of the entity causing Eglana to be eternally embroiled in war. It comes from dissonance, which has been building up for centuries while the various races fight amongst themselves. The warring races must be relieved of this dissonance, or Eglana cannot be sealed off. We've read about dissonance before. I'm putting this under my notes about the philosophers. Where are my notes about the philosophers? There they are. Okay. Even those still remaining within Eglana no longer know why they continue to fight. The original causes of these wars differ from race to race. We need to find the cause of the wars between the five remaining races or we won't be able to find the source of the negativity. I know you probably don't want to hear this, but it is only you, the eighth children, free from the memory of the mother who can accomplish this. That's me. Take this with you. The fairy queen told me that you can use this to absorb the dissonance. Beherit? Okay. Interesting. I've grown weary from all this talk. Please excuse me. I'd like to rest. Have a nice nap. This may be unusual and not usually seen in stories, but you're the chosen one. <laughs> Never heard of that one before. Okay, Alcidon is taking a nap. For once an elder demanding to talk to you after a boss fight without pulling your leg, yeah. The chosen fool. All right, so we got this thing. A small stone with a person's face carved into it. Press the item button to use it. Hey yeah. I'll say Don Nap, yeah. We're so close to the classic challenge. I grossly underestimated how many points it would take to get there. <laughs> Well, I guess we're playing La Mulana Classic. What can you do? Set a higher goal. We'll have to up it each time. Okay, actually, uh, I should explain this. We're playing a stream of La Mulana Classic. We're doing this like we did for Nestroid. So every time we hit the goal, I'll do another stream of it. So there'll be another goal, and then another goal, and then another goal. Also, I don't know when we're going to do it. Because I was planning next Friday to be our crowd control day. But we'll have to fit Classic in there somewhere. 
Nicely done. You all have a lot of channel points. I have to set it up too. Back from yoga break, welcome back. I hope yoga was good. Just one stream, give me my points back. <laughs> I, I explained that day one. And it's how we did the other challenge, but I can write it into the, uh, into the challenge notes. Should I show this to Zelpud? Yoga was relaxing. Good, I'm glad. That's the Beharit. I think it used to belong to Alcidana. Did he give it to you? It's a secret treasure of the seventh children entrusted to us by the six children, or something like that, probably. Thanks, Zelpud. You're so helpful. Oh my god. Now what? Wait, I wanted to read about Black Mist. But I think I just got it today, so I, I can't... Control F to read it. Beans, welcome in. Thank you, it's been really good so far. Lots of notes have already been taken. It wasn't in Roots of Vindrasil, it was probably in Anufn. Anufn? Thank you for the follow, I appreciate it. Um, the Virtual Wise Man. Nidog. The Ten Mantras. The Heaven Mantra. Oh. Veritra is not yet at full power. Veritra has not awakened. When the pitch black flames engulf the land, the end of the world will begin. That's all that I have so far. Dissonance lingers where children of the same seed are in conflict. When the calamity that governs conflict disappears, dissonance will be released, and the stone with the face swallows it. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I want to know if there's a faster way to get over there, because I've been going the long way. Thank you for the follow. Welcome in. Yeah, this is way faster. Alright, here we go. Let's swallow it. Oh my god, creepy. And then release it again. <laughs> Hi, Kartacha, welcome in. How's it going? Ernesto, welcome in. How are you? The eyes glow red. Yeah. Creepy. It sounded like a cow, yeah. <laughs> I got my bedding cleaned and put back on my bed. Got a breakfast sandwich in the microwave. Peach mango green tea. Oh, I want to make some tea on our next break. The music is still creepy. Need some caffeine, yeah. I feel like the tea really helps my nose and throat a lot. The cow emote remains relevant always. I love that emote. It's so stupid. Okay, nothing changed in here.
Did anything change in the corridor of blood? Is it the beginning of the end? Had very bad storms yesterday. Yeah, we had a lot of rain yesterday. It was no fun. Wah! Does this mean I need to go back to, um... Fafnir? Is this a picture of Fafnir? Don't answer that. Wah. We had tornado warnings. Oh no. normal not me just noticing the splatters of blood everywhere <laughs> y'all are like oh it's sticky oh it's blood and I just completely was like what do these murals look like again <laughs> I love the music in here all right uh, I am curious Where did we fight tunnel vision? Yeah, corridor vision. It's your first La Milana 2 playthrough. Yeah, yeah, I played one, um, one time all the way through vanilla and then I've done the randomizer a few times. I might ask well, I might ask for some help finding where that boss room was. If it was even in, I would assume it was in the roots of Yggdrasil, but maybe not. Screw the blood covering, what are the murals about? Yeah. How do you like two compared to one? I like it a lot. Um, you know, it feels really good. It feels very familiar. Taking lots of notes. It's just what I was hoping for. No, I did not do Hell Temple. Hell Temple was not for me. Chat helped me open it. Because the quest to get there was really amusing. But, um... It's not on my list of things to do. Although classic is, so... It's like La Milana 1 except more, yeah. I want to jump down here. Oh, it's underneath the, um, it's here. So actually, I want to go back up. And we're gonna check out this room and then we're gonna probably take another quick break. I just wanna see if there's. Oh. More fog in this room now. No. Weird. Wasn't this where the Ankh was though, or no? Maybe not. Second guessing myself. Sinner's Prison. <laughs> I 
forgot about that. That bat every time, pretty much. And then this room, which we don't have the stuff for yet. But we have Scale Sphere, so I need to focus on that. Chaos, welcome in. I did obliterate Veritra. Feeling pretty good about it. Um, what music do y'all want for break? Hell Temple difficulty feels unfair on purpose, unlike the rest of the game. Yeah, it's a it's optional. And I knew, like... After everybody watched me play La Mulana 1, you all knew, like, I wasn't really gonna be into Hell Temple, and that's okay. This music? Alright, cool, we'll stay here. Enjoy the break. Um... So we got Skill Sphere, so we can swim without getting hurt, which is awesome. Um, we enjoyed this music immensely. Let's look at my notes. There was water up here, but it's gone now. There's a bunch of water here. But we've been through that water already. And there's water in a noof, noofnan, a noofnan. Let's go back here. Water, water everywhere, but not a drop to drink. Yes. Oh, right. Wait, did I read this? Yeah. This isn't a decipher thing. This is a... Already gave us a hint. Water. I can't read the thing. But it is nice that I can swim in here without hurting. Oh, <gasps> finally. Agasura. Oh. Agasura is a malevolent god who takes the form of a snake's head. He waits at the entrance of the ruins waiting to ambush humans who walk by. His belly is filled with a stench so foul that anyone unlucky enough to get swallowed up would be driven enough to force their way out. What's a Tarion? I don't know. <laughs> I should probably look it up. Enmo, Anemone, Anufnun. Anufn. Anufn. See, okay, and it says tribe. Locopala. Locopala, Alfer. But they're all six children, which is also weird to me. Aesir, Alfer, Locopala, Veneer. There's probably more. It's a kid from Vine that used to dance. Hi, Hubris. Welcome in. Hi, Redbeard. Welcome in. How's it going? Welcome. A lowlife happy to sell items he stole or happened to pick up. Be careful not to let your memento of a certain someone get snatched. Don't snatch my mementos. Understand. Okay, Valhalla's done. Korobok. Korobok seems like a lively merchant but has the eyes of someone who wouldn't say no to murder. He claims the puppet on his table side contains a soul of its own taking. He thinks of himself as a pretty stand up gentleman. These are fascinating. I think I read them all. Oh yeah, we're supposed to find the fairy king. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, 
Also, what's up with that door? Right. There's a switch up there. Oh, yeah! <laughs> I forgot. That's a thing that happens when I defeat guardians. Well, good for me. <laughs> I was getting there eventually. He has the eyes of someone who would not notice blood in the murals. <laughs> no, come back. Gotcha, and I didn't even need to go that way. Oh, a new entrance. Well, I've only been in two rooms of this area. So maybe I should start drawing from here. Or maybe not. It's technically not a new map, but like, I don't have anything really drawn yet. And I have a feeling I'm gonna be able to make more progress from this side than the other side. So maybe I'll, I already said this, maybe I'll start over. Mostly new map hype. The music is very good. Look at the little ice witch riding on a hockey puck. This is the destroyed branch. It has no counterpart. All right, new section of notes. Shrine of the Frost Giants. Canadian Ice Witch. Gerd. This is where the second children once lived. As they are no more, we the six children live here now. It is said that a giant named Sakit was made to shoulder the blame for all the dissonance of the second children. The story is from ancient times, however, so Sakit is likely long dead. Sakit mentioned. We just talked about Sakit. Yeah, curling. That's what I was. That's the word I was looking for. Thanks, Gerd. Lokopala, a beautiful Lokopala woman who tired of battle and moved to the Shrine of Frost Giants. It is said that her beauty caused her sworn enemy, the Fairy King Frey, to fall in love with her at first sight. She cares for people more than politics, having little interest in what occurs in Eglana. I saved when I warped to wherever I warped. But I want to save again. But hopefully we find a tablet here. <laughs> Where's the option to tell her you met Sakit and he was rubbish? Yeah. Not a fun encounter. <gasps> oh my god! They fall off of it and also the hockey puck still hurts you. Baba Yaga. Witches said to live in the center of the forest. They slide across the floor atop ice mortars, using a broom to push themselves along. If you break their mortars, they will become enraged, striking out at you with their brooms. Yeti! Oh, here's one of the things.
You meant Robo Sakit, right? It's not actually Sakit. It's like the Sakit built by the six children. The fifth children. I forget. No, six, because I think there's a six symbol on his ankle. I forget. Or maybe the third. I don't know. New cat ball, yeah. Hang on, I need to sip this. Well, it's the correct temperature. Um, and I need to draw this chart thing. I've been taking these down in my other notebook. Bimo! Just like the keycap. Dark Star Lord's footprint number three. Can you even see this? My keyboard is in the way. even this time. Except it's still gonna be really weird looking. But that's okay. Alright, we've got this get two and three mixed up. I feel like that's a three. Or no, not three. Two and four mixed up. I feel like that's a four. But I have, I have a cheat sheet. You have your father's notes, yeah. And then second from the right up here is that weird looking, looks like a smiley face thing. Okay. Putting that away for now. How's my health? Ugh, ugh. Oh my god, look at us in the snowdrift. That's so cute. Do we get snow boots as an item? Ah! I love it. I want to read that thing down there. Oh, right, I forgot that this is really hard to fight because of the... They throw snowballs back at me. Oh, I'm gonna die if I go down there. There's so many... What is that? There are snow boots. We'll see. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. No! Must read! Must read the Lord! No! <laughs> I was so greedy. I thought I could get out of it, but I can't. I have to do a bunch of stuff over. Sankari, hi. Welcome in. How are you? 
Actually, not a bunch of stuff. I just thought if I could get to that tablet and read it, then I would immediately back out. Oh, that means I have to get the... Hang on. I have to get the, um... The mimic again. Darn it. I should have saved. No! Stupid. You have a week off? Nice. Oh, back issues. Not nice. I'm sorry, Sankari. Gotcha. get this and then fight at least one of these because I went through oops and like uncovered some of these that I was missing I think that's it. So frustrating. But at least we have the glossary progress. I bet there's something I'm missing. It's it's hard to remember to get all the little chip thingies when you die and remember all the enemies. Oh god. Oh god, that was weird. Okay, I should have gone in there. More again. A goddess of destruction darting across the battlefield. She is a crow that usually takes the form of a beautiful woman with long black hair, throwing her male opponents off guard. One of three forms that make up Badab Kath. Okay. Reminds me of the, um... The tricksters that you have to say the life and death mantras to. The seductress. Nice. That was easier than last time. Why does she have bat wings if she's a crow? Good question. Well, a pen? It's so cute. Not a sheep, but a cow monster. More cows. Cow monster. Its hair is grown to help it resist the cold. It is relatively small for a cow and prances over the snow covered ground with ease. I love it.
Badab Kath, the Raven of War, part of the Queen of Demons Morrigan, part the red haired Macha, Maka? And yet, part the venomous Nemain. When the trio of goddesses combine their power, Badab Kath shall appear. Has an enemy rose among the others as far as most annoying? I don't know, bats. <laughs> Maybe bats. It's a boring answer, but they they thwart my plans the most. I miss um scripture. And I really don't like those ones in Valhalla that shoot the genies, the red genies at you. And they'll come up to you and they'll get so close and then they'll zoom away. Wallopin are annoying. I just like how fast they move. Yeah. This is only my first one, so I guess we'll see. This is eating through my weights. Holy moly. I see a chest in here. And a cool looking mural thing. And a very interesting looking background. Well, what does this do? Okay, good map. Whoa, that was weird. Titanamaki Monument. Okay. We love that. So I made my map all wrong because now it's squished over to the left hand side. Uh, I might move it. Thank you for your patience in these trying times. But now when we come in that other way, we'll know where it is in relation to this. And this is why I use a pencil for everything. What is that? Lizolfos. It's kind of cute. Well, I killed it. Stupid bats. Unger. <laughs> they look like frogs, but they're actually- This is so- They look like sheep, but they're actually cows. They look like frogs, but they're actually spirits known as rainbow serpents. The chimera experiments gave them arms and, and legs. In fact, they wield boomerangs with astonishing dexterity. Freaking bats. Whoa. Bears a striking resemblance to the relief of a death ball athlete found in ancient ruins in El Baal, Guatemala. The individual appears to be wearing a spacesuit or spacesuits and breathing fire, which has given rise to theorists that it, it is an extraterrestrial of some kind. In reality, it is simply a Locopala Eglana soldier. Nope, aliens. Did I already put this goddess note in here? Yeah. It's aliens. I have a folder for archaeology terms now, too. I know I like bats normally, but in La Mulana, until you get scripture, they're so annoying.
I think we're good. <laughs> Don't breathe your tea, folks. Um, scripture is an item in the first game that allows you to just like, it, it makes the bats not hurt you. So you don't have to kill him. I know, T isn't for breathing. How could I get it so wrong? This is another one of those double rooms. I'm also crying. Vaping my tea, oh my god. <laughs> it disables bat hitboxes, you can still kill them. I know you can. You can still kill them, but you don't have to. Um, I was drawing this because it's another double room. Oh my gosh, why did I inhale that? It does not feel good. Oh, there's a seal in here. I have a really hard time distinguishing between number two and number four. Ugh. <clears throat> Chamber. Yeah, okay, whatever. A pillar polished to a mirror sheen. The means to grab onto it and swing around. The tool to grab onto walls lies where fire and ice rage. It's the three ladies. I don't want to fight you. Let me out. Ow. Ow. They've got bats. They've got fire. They've got ice. They've got everything. They're evil. Oh my god, there's there's spiky things up there. I really uh, I really don't want to redo this again. I'm sorry, I'm leaving. Ugh. It wasn't looking good. Dun -dun 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 -dun. I wish all the bosses were chibi. They were cute! I just wish that I already had a warp back to that area, but I don't. Not that it's that hard to get to. Let me off the staircase. We're back. To play in the snow yet again. I'm gonna need to buy weights though. Look at this. I have a fever. Oh no. Baking pastries and watching this stream is treatment. 
sounds like good treatment. I would like to bake some pastries. I want to read this. There is a fairy who bends weapons to its whim. They who bring the weapon fairy- Wait, oh! We met a fairy and I didn't write down where it was! Oh no! That's okay, I'll find it. If I don't find it, I'll watch the VOD. Kara is our weapons fairy. When she's in the snow, isn't that so cute? Seems. Is there anything else I can do in here? No. Just go up to my death. Whoa! That was lucky. Do 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 do. The main. A venomous goddess of war, she spreads fear across the battlefield, turning allies against one another. She is able to discern the souls of those who will die in battle and is gentle to those for whom death is close. One of three forms that make up bad 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 cath. Hey, look. Oh my god, so many weights. Is there an eyeball in here? No. Behold! It says that, but she wasn't gentle when murdering you. I know, what gives? Uh, wait, I don't need to write what it is. The Last Lands of the Extinct Second Children. I have to make it not crooked. Oh, and I didn't draw this. Let's save. Huzzah! Now I can warp back here. Oh, I see what you mean about these cows. Wait, can I fall all the way through this snowbank? Let me down! Oh my god. Yeti! You are so evil! How are you so cute and then not? Ah! <laughs> That's so fun! Oh my god! Wait, do it again. Oh, there we go. Weapon altar. Hmm. Ow. I picked the wrong side. Sacred wine corridor? Oh, heck yeah. that 
That which is correct goes unscathed. That which is mistaken receives justice by sword. If you make a mistake, you die. <laughs> I forgot my tea. There's an eyeball in this room. So I can't just run around hitting stuff. I mean, I can. Oh my god. Stupid game. Also, I still, I still keep hitting the old, um... Holy Grail button to warp. I'm I'm like mostly converted to the new controls. But not a hundred percent. back here. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, the higher you jump, the farther you fall down. I was wondering. Okay, let's go this way. Treasure. Oh my god, no! No, don't squish me! Aww. Corridor of spikes, love that. Can I go back here? Yeah. I didn't get squished yet. So which one did I step on? I already forget. I think it was the middle one. Do I have to get that plate? Also, what happens if this goes all the way over? Oh. Oh, it resets. Okay. Cute. Does it always appear on the level where you press the thing? And are you supposed to like... I don't know. No, it always appears up there. Maybe. Well, I pressed them all. <laughs> I bet the thing on the bottom tells me how to do it. But now that I killed the enemies, I want to try to get it. But I don't want to get squished. Oh my god. 
No! <laughs> it doesn't stop when it gets there? I thought for sure it would stop. <laughs> That's fun. I need more weights. Let's buy them from this evil lady. The squish was prevented! I caught it! We did it! <laughs> Great game. No notes. Oh, this is different. Okay, I'll come back to that. There's so many things to look at. Oh, wow, okay. Was not expecting that to be an Ankh jewel. Cool, easy. Almost done with this section. Finish the demo for another code recollection. Nice, Mr. L. Welcome in. I want to go... Oh, I don't know how to get down there yet. I was going to say, I want to run along this bottom corridor. this block down here. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. This looks like a trap. This looks like... Hang on. I don't want to have to get the Ankh Jewel again. I almost forgot where those spikes were. It's either going to smush me or it's going to break this block of ice. Or neither! <laughs> oh, rip. I need the power of fire. Have I marked this yet? No. There's a seal up there. This is an interesting looking room. snow 
Life is begotten of the cold soil. The birth sigil lies in deep, deep snow. Oh, well, maybe that's a good thing. Maybe it's a good thing for me to fall in the snow. Okay, well now I feel like I'm stuck in here. <laughs> oh, maybe you have to like fall from above now that I broke this. Interesting. Oh, lo, lo, lo. I forgot to uh, to make the woo woo noise. There's a, it's weird that there's a switch over there. Okay, I'll give up on that for a second. I kind of want to mark snow. to go back up here. Ice physics is back to haunt me. Oh my goodness. It's so slippery. Oh, I think I already fell on that one earlier. Dang. this room again. This is a weapons block. I've been forgetting to draw these. Tried to explain to someone I was crocheting corn on legs and they couldn't accept it. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> oh. Here I lie after being chased by furries for so long. I will not convert. I will not. I won't. Oh, I gotta be careful. Because there's an eyeball in here. Yes! I was like, this is a great place to hide a microchip. I was rewarded. A goddess of war whose name means fury with vivid red hair. She spreads madness across the battlefield, ever exacerbating the blood and carnage. They say she can use magic and that she eats the heads of deceased soldiers, one of the three forms that make up Badba Kath. Light leaks from between the mirror sheen pillars. This is a fun diagram. but I don't think I can get to this from here. Let's just go crawling around in the snow some more. Is 
What a nice addition to the to the universe. Crawling in the snow. Deep snow banks. Oh my god. Do we need more weights yet? That place is eating up my weights. The game has given us tightrope stairs and deep snow. So many rewards. Wait, when did Phobos message me? It seems as though the six children hold power in Eglana. The fairy queen and her ilk are also the six children, but their views differ from other six children. They must be of a different tribe. Unlike other children, it is said that the six children were split into different races. If you could distinguish not only between different races, but different tribes too, then it may become easier to solve riddles. Huh. Well, we kind of knew that. And a lot of the NPCs, it tells us what tribe they're in, so that's nice. We need some chapstick real quick. Now... What have I not explored yet? I mean, plenty. But now we want to go to the right and see if we can jump down. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't appreciate the lack of iframes when it comes to spikes in this game. You can just keep hitting them and keep hitting them over and over. It really sucks. Okay, we're gonna fall- we're gonna fall here. Yay! It worked! Snow. Tougher to keep up with La Mulana texting <laughs> than IRL Discord. Yay! No, there's supposed to be another seal down here. Or a sigil. It's over here though. Oh. Oh. So sneaky. This is called Altar of Birth. And there's this an origin seal right here. More seals, more seals. I'm assessing. Wait, can I? Are there? Is there an eyeball in here? Oh, right. I can't hurt them unless they're. Wait, I didn't even notice the noise when you're. Did you hear that? Why didn't I hear that until now? That's adorable. Squeaky shoes. Da, 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 da. I want to read that tablet. But I also would really want to come in here and break the seal. Decisions, decisions. The dissonance of the second children lies squarely on the unforgivable sinner Sakith's shoulders. His unforgivable sin was to slay one of his own, bringing about the destruction of his race. Sakith! I once mentioned in La Mulana 1. Oh, doesn't La Mesa's shoes squeak when turning around on ice? Not in that game.
But it's so cute in this one. Oh my god, I just got annihilated by that Yeti. What? Ugh. So punishing. I'm not very careful, am I? to look so cute they're so evil same with the lizard same with every enemy in this area Are these the same room? Altar of birth. Altar of birth. I don't know if killing this enemy and then leaving and then coming back, they're still dead. They are. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wait, no, I got stuck in here. Oh, I think it's a good thing. I thought it was gonna squish me into the ceiling, but I just saved myself a bunch of weights. Excuse me, miss. Hey. Birth sigil acquired, yes. Stone tablet inscribed with the character for two, signifying birth, can be used to destroy sigils with the corresponding character. Yes. Very good. There's so many of these. Mac, welcome in. How's it going? To be in this area, you have to have beaten two bosses. It's like the game makers think the players can handle the rougher enemies. Wait, what do you mean? I missed something. Oh, Mac, I missed you saying hi earlier. I'm so sorry. I was focused on this puzzle. <laughs> this area is so weight hungry. The soul gate you came through? Yeah. I was thinking about that yesterday. Like, I remember being so relieved, relieved when I started La Mulana 1 because everything on the Steam page is like, it's so punishing, it's so mean, it's so brutal. But the enemies start out fine. Like, it's little snakes and skeletons, and you're like, I can handle this. And then as you go, they get a lot worse. But I was thinking from like day one, I would hate every enemy, and it was a very good uptick. Pretty good today, snow day yesterday. Oh, nice, got appointments scheduled done once I got home, yay adulting, nice. Proud of you. Well, there's one near the start, so we can just like warp up there because I'm kind of stuck in here, aren't I? Whoopsies. It'd be nice if I wasn't. Okay. Oh yeah, the vultures are terrible. I hate the vultures. I died to the vultures many times. I need to stop going that way. I need to like, jump down this way. Who's gonna be in here? Thrimmer. Thrimmer? Thrimmer. <laughs> I 
A pillar created with stones in a webbed pattern were built here in this land where the winds rage. However, it's easily breakable. It's hollow, so one would be able to climb inside from where the pillar was broken. Thanks. You've got a cool crown. A member of the Loka Pala who left his former life to live at the Shrine of the Frost Giants. In exchange for allowing him to leave, the Loka Pala have him work as the Shrine's caretaker, though that doesn't appear to excite him much either. He's not excited by anything. We went inside this pillar, and we got the thing that was in here. Alright, let's take our next break. Um, let's just go back here. The music is so good. I love it. We're gonna chill with this music and play more words. Enjoy the break. Also, there's just something about La Mulana music that's like, yeah, keep streaming, yeah, keep going, this is great. <laughs> uh, so we got a new seal. Oh, May, hi! Thank you for 41 months. Welcome back to the human race. Enjoy your Earth Badger emotes, your ad reviewing. We're so glad to have you. Let's get some hype. It's good to see you. Happy Wednesday. Thanks for popping in. We're just, uh, I need to explore the rest of this map too. I need to figure out how to get up here and then drop down on top of this weapon block. But I feel like Oh, we haven't seen up ladders, but there was, um, the mini-boss. I could re-attack the mini-boss. I wonder if some of the clues about them tells you how to defeat them. Hmm, no. Not really. Look at their cute little sprites. I love the red cape. Okay. Now is not the time to admire their fashion. We have we have a couple routes we can go. We can keep exploring this area or we can go open some seals. God, the snow is my favorite part. It's always a good time to admire fashion, you're right. And what was at the end of this room? <laughs> oh, that was a very good refill. So many, so much fashion, so many uh, cosplay options in this game. Right, it's this room. Corridor of Spikes. Oh, oh, okay. I'm gonna cosplay as the lizard. <laughs> New goal. Uh, okay, yeah, we're gonna go open some seals because I'm feeling kind of stuck and stagnant. Let's go to a new hmm. Lots of cool winged ladies. Just lots of cool ladies in general. I'm feeling a lot of great uh, feminine energy coming from this game. Lumisa, female protagonist. Uh, Mulbrook is like cool and hip and modern now. I don't know, it's a good time. Plus, I mean, La Mulana has always been about the mother, so, like, we've got a whole matriarchy situation going on. Uh. Women. Yeah. 
<laughs> Lamu Mama, oh my god. <laughs> Why haven't we said that one before? Uh, I love video games. Llama Mama, also appropriate. I think I just need to drop down here. Ugh. Easier said than done, look at these spikes. All right, we're good. Ooh, sneaky. Oh. <laughs> <gasps> Look, we get to scan it! Llama, yeah, I know. You probably think you hear your name over and over it with this game. Lamulana? 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 <laughs> yes, I want to scan this image. The Alpha spoke of the vast, expansive greens of what is known as Earth. Those who seek must speak the name of. Lorge? No. Lorth? I can't remember if that's- it's a- it's one of these. In phonetic alphabet, is that a t- a- the- th or the- it's not the z. Oh, is it supposed to be an I? But not th with- air behind it with like voice behind it I don't know it's been a while it's been a while since I took my linguistics classes um but yeah voice to th anyway this looks like a mantra to me let me take a screenshot of this I should put these in a separate folder for mantras But they're easy to see in the screenshots because they're green, so I know that they're a different category. I can sort them later if I want to. Himin was- oh yeah, it was with a capital letter. Hmm. 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 You're the- Cool. Yeah, it's definitely an I. <laughs> like Earth. This text, look at new new alphabet. I love it. Okay, now there's no longer an eyeball in this room. Let me and I want to read these. Ugh. All right, but we got this seal, and then this turned into a text room, but we got the text, so I didn't really need to mark it, but I did anyway. Shrine Maiden's Room. Interesting. Oh, they're runes. Oh, that makes sense. With the lore theming that they've been going with in this game. <sighs> Let me through. Let's go now to... Roots? Roots of Yudrasil? Looks like there's one... here. This says... E for entrance, but I forget where this goes, so we're probably gonna go back the long way. Um. I 
keep forgetting this would be probably easier to do. And then we go up from here. Thanks for the hydrate. I appreciate it. Thanks, music lover. We went from Gatorade to tea to water. Really mixing it up today. The bat. It's always the bat. Hey, okay, yeah. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I was so excited about getting the bat. Aww. Honestly, like, there's a lot of traps in La Mulana 1, but the amount of trap doors in the floor in 2 immediately. And you think, oh, I played La Mulana, I'm gonna be on the lookout for them. And some of them I catch, but I just, there's too many to remember. I feel like there's way more in 2 than there were in 1. Oh, right, but I can't get in here yet. Ugh. I'm so excited that this was a seal. Not yet. Alright, that's fine. I should have known. No spikes under that one, true. What about Valhalla? Valhalla has a three, but not a two. What about Divine Fortress? Divine Fortress has one. There are areas of La Mulana 1 where they kind of forgot about traps when designing it. Yeah, not in 2. Um. I miss the Divine Fortress music. There's just something about the music here with the sword noises that's so good. I mean, all of them are good, but this one really, this one gets me. <laughs> I think I want to go through the shortcut that I opened. Oh, shop, hopefully. Wait, but how do I get up there? Okay, that felt like cheating. The pot was protecting me. Whee! Alright, cool. La Milano one has the cool advanced tech of jumping through a trapdoor. Oh yeah, they stay open in this one. Which is nice. Alert! Hey, sweetie! Shuhoka. Oh, I like your nails! That's the alarm app. It alerts you when there's something fishy in the room? I don't like the sound of that. Is it? Okay, safe word. Is it like... Well, actually, no, no safe word. I take it back. Because I'm just gonna have to find out if it's like the most obnoxious sound I've ever heard in my life. I'm so worried I'm gonna hate it and I'm gonna wish, but it's software, so I can always turn it off. <laughs> Sorry for that momentary panic. <laughs>
an app that analyzes air particle structure, alerting the user to danger if, oh, if poison gas is detected in the vicinity, an alarm will sound. A readout of the threat will appear in the pause screen. Huh. That sounds useful. It's a fish finder. <laughs> Something fishy. All right, well, well that's nice. Yeah, look, there's runes on the wall here. Sanctum Path. It says, Cool Frog. I wish, I wish I could scan everything. All I can make out is an H, and maybe an N. I don't know. Maybe I'll screenshot it and look look at some runes later. Just for funsies. Oops, wait. I pressed the wrong button, hang on. It's a very IRL dilemma. The smoke alarm is so annoying. Let's disable it. Yeah. Well, you saw what happened with me like 10 minutes into the game and turning off the Zelpud software. But it's so much better in this game because all the other characters talk to you too. I think that's it for seals then for now. So now I kind of want to go back and try to fight those witches again. Those witches. Oh, we got this. This was Scale Sphere. This was the boss fight. Wait, did I never go into the room above that? Hmm. Huh. Um, where are the witches? Frost Giants. Sorry, a lot of moving papers. I love the fish wiggle emote, it's so good. I miss I miss those enemies. We haven't really found like a water area yet, but we have scale sphere. So I'm intrigued. Moving paper cam. Last time with La Milana 1, it was so funny. Um and it still happens. It's like sleeve cam like you see my whatever sweater I'm wearing uh, but it's really zoomed in but with La Milana 1 you would see like <laughs> my pencil like super zoomed in or just the eraser I think I like this setup better though divine fortress theme but a little sword noise is a replace with shuffling map papers yeah all right, let's try. Let's try. Wait, I already messed up. Ugh! That tablet is nonsense. Sheer nonsense. Play some music with Ridley Screams from Metroid Fusion. No. <laughs> oh my gosh. I, I want to replay Fusion. That game was so good. Good job, Jen. It's just constant. A constant barrage of bats and fireballs and Fury. And I'm not hitting them at all. It's 
So many bats! Oh, squish. Okay, well, that didn't go great. I forgot that I can't really ride the thing because you get squished. <laughs> I thought I could find a cute little girl waiting to be rescued. Yeah, that's a different game. That's Princess Peach. Oh my god. No. That was better than last time. Are they vampires? Maybe. They kind of- one of them has like the cool like turned up collar cape thing. Elevator into spikes, I know. It's classic. And speaking of classic... <laughs> I have to play that now. We have so many wonderful things planned. I don't understand. I feel like I'm supposed to... Oh. Wait, no! Go back down! This is gonna crumble underneath me, though. I was like, why is that platform here? If you can get through the remake, you can get through classic. You think so? You think I'll be alright? Oh, nice. That was so sneaky. Oop, rip. <laughs> okay, worth it. I didn't say you will be all right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but I can get through it. Bad b b b b cast. Oh. Oh my. A goddess in the form of a crow and the true form of the three goddesses, Morgan, Maka, and Nemain, combined, she wields the magic powers of all three in addition to even more advanced ice magic. I don't want them to combine. I mean, I do, but <laughs> then I will immediately die. That's not the form of a crow. <laughs> This is the one you're missing? Oh my god! I found it! Now we gotta go save. Sexy crow Halloween costume. You know what? We're re-watching- well, I'm re-watching. Semi is watching for the first time, um, Schitt's Creek. And we're just getting to the crow movie bits, so no spoilers, but very, very amusing. Yeah, the save point on this one is pretty nice. I'll take it. I love Schitt's Creek too. It's so good. They have eyes, yeah. The crows have eyes. Oh my god. Something tells me I'm not supposed to be doing this yet, but I'm gonna keep trying anyway. I just want another orb. Oh, it's the mirrored pillars. Okay, let me go read my clues about mirrored pillars again. I got- I got two! Persistence! Okay, maybe not. I didn't even realize how mirrored they were until I... Until... Until... Now I'm gonna go read them. No... I'm never gonna be able to find it. But it's from today. It's easily breakable. It's hollow. No, that's that's the webbed pattern, not the mirrored ones. Light leaks from between the mirror sheen pillars. 
Weird. A pillar polished to a mirror sheen. The means to grab onto it and swing around. The tool to grab onto walls lies where fire and ice rage. Okay, well, I found it, but I don't know that that helped me. Ba 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 ba, Kath. With 23 health, we got this. Ow. I can hit you in the toes. Okay, well, valiant effort. I guess. Tough. Ugh! Oops, that's not what I meant to do. Thanks, Rhea. We made it to the next phase, but... I don't know. I gotta figure something out. I did keep the glossary, right? Yeah. That was close. Something about mirrored pillars. <laughs> weep, 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 weep. Maybe make a noise, like hopefully. Oh my god. Now watch me get immediately knocked back. That was awesome. Um, there's a shop in here. Okay, let me actually mark where this is too. It should be this one. Yeah. Actually, I don't know where it is yet, but I'm marking it anyway. Good job, Lumiza. <laughs> Behold! I'm just gonna let everyone observe this for a minute. <laughs> Who's in the cage? It looks like a fairy in a cage. Ignoring everything else. <laughs> Best game ever. This music is so nice. Here, let me screenshot it. This is important lore. This is art. Mac, I don't know. Ask the developers. <laughs> Wait, we got a glossary entry for it too? Oh, I forgot to read this. 
No, I did read it. Tribe? Question mark? The eldest of three odd brothers who captured the last of the fairies. No one knows his race nor origins. He answers when spoken to, but is extremely rude. Who's cosplaying as him? Ugh. I'll think about it. Wait, hang on. So we found a fairy. To think they've been entrapped and sold off. What a curious shop owner. He does seem able to hold a normal conversation. Doesn't seem able to hold a normal conversation. Apparently there's some sort of pass required in order to get past these goons and start doing business. It's a bit of a hassle, but we're gonna have to buy these. Oh, it is actually a shop. Okay, well, that is wild. Um, I'm just gonna put the little star for like the fairy symbol that I usually use. I know it's like completely legible, but just trust me. <laughs> they stole my likeness. Uh, could you get away with that? No, um, that would not be an allowed cosplay. No, the, the, yeah, the new rules wouldn't allow it. People dressed like that are usually the least rude you'll ever meet, yeah. Alright, anyways, I'm dying to a yeti again. And we might as well go back and save. Might as well. Always dying to those yetis. Snake, how's it going? Thanks for thinking the mods. Thanks for the hello. Thanks for the hydrate. Metal, welcome in. Thanks for the hello. How's it going? How's life? Need to find an item to get rid of our stank. Yeah, we're too stanky to buy a fairy. Oh my god. You guys just missed the weird... Uh, we were uh, going back to that spot with the light. Doesn't seem like it does, okay. I'll put one in someday. Oh no, I didn't jump high enough. <laughs> or I went too early, I think. That bit of wall also looks suspicious, but I don't think it's anything. I did so good the first time. For not knowing that it was actually there. Oh my god. I had to scroll back and figure out what you were talking about. Oh, with the keyboard? Okay. Let's do this again. Go, Lumiza, go. Oh, the NPC. Yeah, we've met um, the fairy something. I don't know. The guy with the pasties. <laughs> this guy. Ugh. It's too slippery in here. This room wants to kill me. I haven't seen the witch chase me with the broom yet. Find the hollowed pillar once again. Okay, more clues. More drawings. I said Lumisa. Their names are too similar. Eaten. 
Oh, well, there's a hollowed pillar over there. Oh my god, no. But I don't know if this is what they're referring to. Ow. Excuse me. Well, goodbye. Did I mark this? Yeah. This is here. And to chamber. No! I mean, we have enough weights for it, but why? Goodness. There's also a gate of departure in here. And a regular fancy door. I should have probably noted that first. There's so many things in this room. Well, if I go through, this is above that weapon room, so I might as well try to go get that block. And then I can come back another time and take the ladder up, probably. We're doing it! Looks heavy. <laughs> it is. It is, Freya. This better work. Oh, no, 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 no! Earth Spear, Earth Spear. Oh. Oh. A slender, lightweight blade covers any stabbing and swinging needs. We have lots of stabbing and swinging needs. Non-Earth Spear. New weapon. Fancy sword. We look cool. Wait, what does this look like in our hand when we hold it? <laughs> so weird. That ain't a key sword. Hiya! 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 Nice. I like it. Do you think Zelpud cares about this sword? I don't think he does. He doesn't care. Now, where were we? Zelpit's not into swords, no. <laughs> no, he's not. <laughs> We have to do this again. Oops. I love the whip though because it's got that huge swing above your head hitbox. You know? Okay, let's go this way. No, go Lumisa. What's up here? Sea altar. Okay. Oh. Um, it has one of these. The rip here is pretty neat in this. 
rip rapier. I don't know how to say it. Um, I can't do anything in here yet. this picture of the hollowed out pillar again. Uh, here's what I'm looking at. I swear I cropped this to fit, but I'll do it again. Or I guess, does it make more sense to just crop it to, like, the part with the actual notes on it? I'm not doing anything with the, the, whatever that section's called. Rapier. Kia, hi, welcome in. Yeah, it's a snowman. It's, it's a abominable snowman. The enemies in this are weirdly so cute. I'm not sure what this is telling me. Here, if your daughter's watching, let me scroll past that other character art. It's not appropriate. <laughs> Light leaks from between the mirroring pillars. Tool to grab onto walls lies where fire and ice rage. Yeah, and it throws snowballs at you. They're kind of cute. She's only two. She doesn't know any better. I'll just... <laughs> just in case. <laughs> this. Where is this? I think I can make this bigger if I... Oh, never mind. Alright, well, anyway. Unless, unless that's where I already jumped down. It might be. No, it's to the right. Because there's that little drawing on the wall. And there's another mirror sheen pillar. I think that's... I think it's over there. Maybe. Mm, no, wait. I'm wrong. That wasn't what I wanted to do. Defeat ice physics! Oh my god. That just took like all of my health. I can't get up. Oh. I wish Lumisa could see Mulbrook again. Yeah, where's where's what's Mulbrook doing right about now? What do you think she's up to? Texting all of her new friends. Sleeping, true. Probably sleeping. I'll just keep saving, even though I didn't do anything. Got to find more gaps in the pillars. <laughs> I 
Maybe we try this side now. That worked truly really well. Wait, I have a new sword. I should use that against you. Do we think there's a gap in the pillar over here? No? I don't know what it's trying to tell me. Where the snow where I had to like fall through to get that seal. I have to pay the weight tax for falling down. No. So welcome in. My stream has always had captions. Um, there's one that's like a mini button at the bottom that I've been using for a while now. But today I turned on the like bigger overlay. And um, I appreciate the feedback because I, I used to use the bigger overlay all the time and I stopped because it's not as accurate. But it has some cool Twitch integrations with it. Like, I think you can move it around the screen to wherever you want it to go. And it's more obvious when it's turned on, because the other one is like a teeny tiny little button. I'm gonna warp out of this room, but I feel like... I feel like I should be able to jump through here, too. Also, are they gone? Are the witches gone? No, you have to go through the center for them to show up. Interesting. I'm getting a little tired of this, um, music. It's good, but... It's nice to switch it, switch between the songs. Use the mini button between settings and Chromecasting. Nice! Yeah, and that one is available on mobile, which is why I really like it too. Uh, certain, I think like iOS, but not Android maybe? I can't remember. Which area? True, we don't have to stay here. I'm just puzzled by this pillar situation. I can't figure out where that drawing is showing me. Fill the hollowed pillar. I was reading it wrong, too. Bigger. Here we go. Still doesn't help me. Alright, yeah, let's go somewhere else for a minute. I don't know where to go, but...
Happy belated new year. Thank you. You too. It is my first time playing La Mulana 2. What if we just picked up? We have Scale Sphere. We have two sigils. We have this thing. We just got a new sword. I wonder if there's anything in my notes about different types of weapons. Oh my god, I got stuck. It's a frog! And there's this room. Which hasn't really changed. Oh god. There's runes on that wall, too. Alright, well, maybe let's take a break. I'm- the ad thing is yelling at me anyway. I snoozed it once. Um... And then maybe I'll have a plan. I don't know. I don't know. Enjoy okay, so have I thought of anything else to do? No. But we're gonna walk around. We're gonna wander. With our new sword. Yeah. Oh my god, why? Every time. It's right there, you can see it. That one is particularly gnarly. bosses I can fight. We've talked about this. Have a good dinner, Freya. Thanks for hanging. Um. I don't know if the new sword is like a game changer. We scanned this wall already. I don't think it's a game changer because... I'm gonna have to, oh. Shoot things at you from far away. And it still gets you in two hits. Amethyst, welcome in. How's it going? Thanks for the good luck. We're rocking the map cam again, yeah.
We should go find that fairy again. Mini bosses, Nidog, Crow Lady, anyone else? Ratatosk. It's like the fair, the not the fairies, the three ladies, Ratatosk, Nidog, that ice one. Oh, Crow Lady is the is the ladies, yeah, the three ladies. Um, there's that one in, did I miss a seal? I might have missed a seal. Or it might be the one that has a, a number three on it, actually. It's this one that I'm thinking of. The multi-armed statue in Valhalla. But I don't have that seal yet. I was gonna go see what was in this room, because I haven't checked that off yet. We can go hang out. I don't know. I think it's interesting that we got Scale Sphere. Like, why? Why did we get Scale Sphere? This room I can't really do anything with yet, I don't think. <laughs> Can I always use a weapon while crouching? Yeah. going swimming oh my god stop the bats say anything oh. I want this new scale sphere to be useful but it's not thank you for the follow welcome in This was a fight that we already did. Um, I want to go. I just don't think I have access to that room. Because I think it's.
It's like up here and to the right and then to the right again, but this is blocked off. here so many times. And this, I don't have the pillar yet. Who lives in here again? Hushan, right. We're trying to get the pillar, but the pillar got swallowed by a cow. Interesting this sequence of rooms looks. Let me in. Ugh. children. We talked to Elsadana. We got the mantra stuff. Excuse me. doesn't feel right. Oh. Oh, what? <laughs> but this isn't gonna take me to a new spot, I don't think. It's just gonna take me to that same spot. That looks like a trapdoor! <laughs> God. Power altar. I just feel stuck. There's any mini bosses in a noob? I'm gonna get hit by a bat. that there's a chest in this room below here. But I feel like it's blocked off. I feel like I just recently jumped down this way too. Oh, and we scanned this. Oh my god. Okay, there is a chest and I got it like ages ago. Just never marked it. 
starting to get anxious the bottom part of my corn man is never gonna live up to how good his top half is no it's great though it's the best corn man we've ever seen I believe in you such a maze to get like one block to the right oh no the arrows are gonna get me everything's gonna get me and I want to drop down under this room which I can do What's to the, what's further to the right? Oh yeah, I should probably look up what a Terion is too. I never did that. This room. No. up here I forget I think a shop a mimic what's in here hmm. keep commentary on oh my god no wait there's a thing over there that I never read The Guardian Crujada was set up by Anufin with the Locopala, by the Locopala, only to be sealed by an Ankh at the hands of the Alpha Seeress. Okay, that's useful. More stuff about the cow, Crujada. I didn't have that one yet. If I search Terion and Google it, is it gonna only return results from La Mulana 2? It's part of your brain? I asked that and then I immediately Googled it anyway. Whoops. A craniometric point near the sphenoid fontanelle of the skull. It is a point of convergence of the sutures between the frontal, sphenoid, parietal, and squamous temporal bones. Sick. Okay. That helped me zero. No, oh my god. I don't... I never fully got used to... Knowing which weapon I have equipped at any given moment. Because I always think I have the overhead. Oh my god! You take more than one hit. The overhead swipe of the whip, and I don't. Stupid tong thingies. We've been up here to this shop already when I opened it. It's very exciting and I scanned the wall in here. 
also very exciting. Yeah, I don't know. The weapon you have equipped is always the wrong one, this is true. Okay, then I think I wanted to try jumping down here. Nothing. read this yet. Unlike your people, we six children have set rules to fill from the moment we are born. Frey has been fairy king since birth, just as Freya was born to Queen of Anuthan. Apart from our bodies eventually withering, we do not grow old. We simply continue to live for the purpose of fulfilling our respective roles. We are also unable to become anything more than that as which we were born. I guess. left to do is mini bosses and I don't like that. Have I never gone across this way? Can you see my inventory? Yeah. Yeah, you're good, boy Lily. ever went over here. <laughs> I tried to jump down from the top so many times. Goodness. Big yikes. I'm definitely struggling more with this game, like... I don't know if it's because I get the map so early in a lot of these areas that it looks like I've been to every room when I clearly haven't in my own notes. Bifrost. I know, I kept thinking I could um, jump down onto the pedestal, but I never tried walking back over. <laughs> yeah, it gets really big really quickly. It's hard to remember, and it's very easy to be like, ooh, new map, let me do this over here before getting to everything that you can get to in an old map. So this is here. There's a chest and a seal that we're about to open. And some water. Maybe this is what the scale sphere was for. Now, when was the last time I saved, though? A 
Oh well, I haven't done anything. Woolaloo! Wait, can I examine this skeleton? No. Let me up! of Mumu. On our ship Nibiru rests the master skull. Our great will, sh will shall be given to the bringer of the awakening. A will too great to be contained in such a puny dumb body. Ye who have gathered all twelve skulls carry on our will. And they have symbols on them. so angry. Ye who is reading this, you are a dumbass. <laughs> you are a fool. No. Scary. Okay, but that was a cool looking room. I just wanna save. I always wanna save. Well, that was progress. How do I get back down there? <laughs> Aw, Meg is high! Thank you for- wait, you've been here! <laughs> Hi, welcome back! Thank you for 37 months, true three years. Enjoy your earth badge, your emotes, your ad reviewing. We're so glad to have you. Let's get some hype. Appreciate you. Three years! Three years since we played Chrono Trigger, oh my god! That does not feel like it. Vanish for a bit to drive home and do shopping, nice. Thanks for the boops. <laughs> Thanks, Semi. Hi, Moosey. Welcome in. How are you? So fast. Alright, let's see what happens in this room. It's, there's laser beams. The laser beams are gonna lock me in! Oh, not yet. It's up here. Heimdall. Well, I gotta save again. Are you playing the same character? Uh, this is La Mulan 2, so... New game, new character. This is La Meza's daughter been playing Chrono Trigger for the first time on DS. Nice! How are you liking it? Such a classic. It's so good. Said to be one of the icer race of the six children, but acts alone. He stands guard at Bifrost, awaiting the coming of the end, as foretold in Eglana, but no longer has the will to even think anymore. Heimdall will be released at the time of Eglana's destruction. Those who hear the sound of his horn will know the end has come. Interesting. Yeah, I started this on the first of the year. I mean, I finished La Milana 1 last year in, like, May. Like, two to three hours in. It's lovely. Love the music. Yeah, that's great. You've got many wonderful adventures to come. Oh, I don't want to go save again because I just got this, but if I forget, you can remind me to come back and get the little glossary piece. Can you- will you just let me jump down in the pit? You don't even want to fight me? 
Look at the pretty rainbow pit. <laughs> oh my god. Thank you for the woolaloo. Trav, welcome in. Welcome back. Oh my god! I need a new piece of graph paper, actually. Yeah, it loves to troll the player, exactly. Also, if you're over here watching me and you're not already following Ash, please go give them a follow. Support a fellow human, a fellow streamer, and a fellow Cosmic Heart. Love seeing you take so many notes. I don't know what it is about this game, but it just connects with me. I love it. It's so mean to its players, and yet we keep coming back. So what, this was something Battlefield, Immortal, Eternal? Immortal. Brand new, fresh piece of graph paper. We'll get back to that other area later. And then I guess, I don't know, I would assume that this is at the top of the area, but I usually just try to start my maps in the center. Oh my god. It goes so hard. We did hit the goal for Classic, yeah, we're also gonna be playing La Mulana Classic, which I've heard is even meaner to its players. Um, I want this journal. But I can't get back up. But I want it. Oops. Back from being busy. Welcome back, Venries. Kasugi research papers acquired. The race is born from the mother. Here comes the lore. Chrono Trigger was never released in Europe, so not many EU kids got to play it back then. Oh, yeah. That's such a that's such a missed opportunity. It's so good. First, I must explain why I was able to ascertain the intentions of the mother, the huge living being I mentioned. Return mother to space. This, for lack of a better term, mission has been ingrained into the very gen genres, very genes of mankind, born from said mother. In order to fulfill this mission, the children of the mother developed and proliferated intelligent civilization and strived to create the technology necessary for space travel. Following the trail of various texts and literature left by these children, the existence and influence of this mother gradually came into view. Also, further investigation into these texts and surviving ruins brings to light the fact that it wasn't a single race born from the mother. We, as modern humankind, are what were known as the eighth children. Indeed, before us there were seven other races that were born and then subsequently met their destruction. These races were destroyed by the hand of the very mother who bore them. As the mother gave birth to each new race and then saw they were unable to obtain the power necessary to return her to space, she would destroy the current race and then give birth once again to another new workforce. Before undertaking the investigation of the newly discovered ruins, I would like to quickly break down my current knowledge and understanding of these seven races. The first children were snakes from the belly down. Unable to comprehend the wishes of the mother, we know this already, and only desiring her power, they met their end. The second children were a race known as giants. Apparently they were successful in making contact with extraterrestrial beings, but were then wiped out in civil war. The third children had wings on their backs and were extremely proficient at flying. However, they attempted to recreate their mother's power and cared for nothing else till their own end. The fourth children were half men, half fish. When the third children were wiped out, a huge flood covered the earth in water, and it seems that the fourth race was simply created for the purpose of carrying on what civilization remained. The fifth children were similar in form to modern man, but were apparently somewhat smaller in size. They too were destroyed, apparently for seeking the secrets to life and death, and attempting to take advantage of the mother's power. 
from the six children on, these races were no longer born directly from the mother. Rather, they were made from the clay dolls created by the fifth children with some sort of machine used to breathe life into them. It may be safe to assume that around this time, the mother became unable to bear any further children using her power alone. Possibly for this very reason, it seems that she was unable to properly lead these children, and they subsequently split into several separate races, leading to continuous wars. The six children worked on the life-giving machine further, and thus were born the seven children. They were created specifically to be a relatively powerless race in order to ensure they would not have the power to destroy themselves nor arouse suspicion in the mother as to what, what the six children were planning. The villagers around the entrance to La Mulana ruins are the remnants of this race. The sealing off of La Mulana was made possible by the descendants of the six children who became aware of the mother's power and continued for generations to study and research it in secret, quietly passing their wisdom down through the ages. Oh my goodness. I need some water. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> we had lots of lore to read. Yeah, it was a recap. Beam garden, hydrate for everyone. Water all the human beans. Wait, I was standing in front of a tablet. I didn't even notice. I was too excited about the, um... The lore drop. There's a block puzzle in here. It looks like an earth spear thing, too. And an eyeball. A hole in the ground may well exist for a spirit appears. Okay, I saw it before I read that. You've got to stop backseating me. Mulbrook! It's me. I'm at the Immortal Battlefield. I've spotted a somewhat suspicious pair. An old guy with glasses and an old guy with a hat. I feel like I've seen them somewhere before. So there's a switch in the hole in the floor, huh? Why not pick your hand in there and flip it? If your hand can't reach, maybe try throwing something into it to flip it for you. That's some top-notch advice. Okay, more backseating. I don't have earth spears yet. Maybe this- maybe they're in this room. Dr. Avenue, welcome in. How's it going? I bought both of these games because of you- oh my god! Um, let me know when you start them. I don't think you told me that. But they are so good. It looks like that thing over there is gonna shoot lasers at me. Nope. Earth Spear! Yes. Now how do I get back? Well, I can still break it. What? What is this? Okay, I have to point down. <laughs> That's not how Earth Spear is supposed to work. Now I can read this. Welcome to the land of human war, where battle over a ring of water continues without end. This land will open itself when the ring of water is revived. The land of giant crocodile. Huh. I need to start a new section of notes. Called Immortal Battlefield. Oops, hang on.
And we've seen two rooms. No, go back. Is this a mimic? No. Oh, a shop. Hello? Hey, Belusa. Race reader app. It reads ancient text and tells you which race it was inscribed by. Weird. Creepy tingle, yeah. Okay, let me write this down. Shop. Weights. Do I need weights? Yeah. Never hurts. Imagine it um making sense that the shop is in the area where you actually got that item for the first time. <laughs> The Lokopala, regarded as intellectually inferior to the other tribes, created ch Chimera people to help fight against other races. This one is meant to be a cross between a human and a bee, but they've clearly stuck him in some sort of unfortunate outfit. It would probably turn me silent too. Oh my god. Forgot to write this down. This is a shop and a bunch of water. Present the 12 skulls. The master skull will impart the secrets of Eglana unto you. The skulls are very important. Why is this chorus so good? An impotently furious bee person forced to wear a baggy bodysuit. It me. <laughs> no, I don't want to fight you. How did I get here? I think for maneuvering. We got to save. We did too many things to not save. All right, now I'll go back and fight you. Oh, why is it so hard for me to remember how to get there, though? I guess it's not that hard. No! I'm gonna jump over your head. You just let me? Hang on. Aww. Okay, it's just a shuriken. Hi, 
Heimdall. Will watch over the end from his perch atop the rainbow bridge. He will demonstrate his power when and only when the end begins. The blast of Heimdall's horn will mark the beginning of Idrisil's end. He's just gonna hang out. I'm gonna let him. Did I read all of these? That's in... This is the same... Okay, it confuses me so much when they make those names blue again. Heimdall is just like the shade and the longing, yeah. So lonely. I don't think I need to go back up there, so I'll keep going this way. Yeah, it is really annoying that it does that. I don't like it. Oh my god. Oh my god, you take so many hits too. Well, how do I get up there? Boo. Feather cross room. All right, back we go. Should we save again? We're gonna try to fight this fish thing. And then, I don't know. I feel like we've done so much today. Which is good. I feel like I got genuinely stuck for the first time today, too. Not for very long, for a little bit. Bye! This transition is cool. Gotta catch up and watch Monday's VOD. Monday we did a lot, too. There's just a lot to do. Alright, let's fight a fish. Oh! Why are there bats in the water? Maybe I don't have to fight a fish. Maybe I can just swim past a fish. No? Maybe I can ride on the fish's back to safety. The shuriken is too slow. Oh my god, this is the worst. Here, Earth Spear. Earth Spear it up. Nope. This is going really well. Oh my god! Yeah, bats are still my least favorite. not going well. <laughs> None of these are landing. How am I supposed to fight you? Oh, I need to find the glossary piece for this boss. 
I bet it's under here. No? Hmm. I bet it's buried in a wall somewhere. It's nice you can leave the arena. slow. I'm just gonna let- I'm just gonna die. Because then we'll get our earth spears back. Look at- what is that right there? It looks like a ladder is gonna come down. Dead. Um. I don't know how to do damage to that enemy. Um. Let's take a break. <laughs> Wait, let's take a break where the good music is. I mean, the good new music. The new soundtrack. Immortal Battlefield. I guess I didn't really mark this boss fight either, but it's over here. Wait, no it's not. It's over here. Okay, enjoy the break. Thanks for the good luck with fish. Um, <laughs> I don't know if we'll make it very far. I don't like this fish. I don't like fighting underwater because it slows you down. Did I end up jumping down here? I didn't. I could also skip that for now and see what's down here. Oops. Can I head out early? I need to get up earlier tomorrow. Oh, Daxon, have a good one. Get some good rest. Adam, have a good one. Get some good rest. I know it's getting late. in the new enemy alert. Oh my god, it's, um... Oh my god, it's that character from Overwatch and now I can't remember their name. Junkrat! Lycanthrope. Half human, half beast. Lycanthropes are also known as werewolves. The type that changed back to a human does not exist in Eglon. They are pure werewolves. They are extremely active and energetic. See you in Discord tomorrow for Star Trek. Exactly. Yeah, we're watching more Enterprise tomorrow for anyone that wants to join. This is, um... Junkrat. El Baul. Soldiers of the Lokopala race of six children, created solely for the purpose of fighting. They are not very intelligent. They make up for this by summoning allies when the enemy is spotted, attacking in full force. They guard the central area of the immortal battlefield stronghold of the Lokopala. Cool. Two sigils lie hidden within falling water. One seals the ship of life. Oh, that's interesting. 
Thanks, TT. Thanks for the Discord link. Um... The last thing I took notes on was Heimdall. Okay, so now I'm gonna take this. I have so much typing to do of all these notes. Is there an eyeball in here? No. for this yet. And another push block puzzle. I see a bunch of skeletons. So I kind of want to go at it from this direction. useful. Also this. Kubera. This place is run by the Lokopala, the six children who aim to take control of Eglana itself. They've taken control of Yggdrasil. Watch out for their lookouts. Get found and they'll gather their buddies to deal with you. Who are you? Are you not a Lokopala? That was useful, delivered in the most disappointed possible tone. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know, I don't mean to sound disappointed. Oh, they are Locopolo, who once fought as a guardian of treasures. Highly intelligent, he became egotistical and distanced himself from his kind. Inventor of Vimana and Chakram. Oh. Seems like a fun guy. Oh, I didn't realize I have to go down two. He who seek to bear the gale fibula must first pass the spear bereft beast. Only then shall you dash like the wind incarnate, your, your human potential unlocked. I want to dash like the wind incarnate. You just thought it was funny. I'm always giving this game sass. You have to. You have to sass it right back. I'm gonna drop this on the wolf. <laughs> How do you get to that skeleton down there? Oh, I can't. Oh my god, I'm so dumb. Jen! Oh. <laughs> no! I'll never forget what my pap told me on his deathbed. When the cat is away, the mice will say, Now you get yours! Well, I guess I got mine. I wanted to read it. No, 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 oh my god, no. Terrible. Oh! oh my god. This is, this is just so many turns. The game deserves it all the time. But this is gonna squish me. Okay, that only works once. I'm gonna have to warp out of here. 
Because I think you can only get past that if you move really fast. And I did so many things. I'm panicking. It's fine. I really need to get a save thing in here. Okay, glossary preserved. Don't worry. I know you were worried. Back down the rainbow bridge. I should draw the symbols on that wall by Heimgall. Later. Now I'm gonna think every one of these is breakable. Oh! That one actually made a noise? Be bombable later. This is where I got something. Earth Spear. Everyone's beating me up. Oh, this one is so well hidden. I don't even know where the trapdoor is. Gale Fibula. A breast mounted accessory. The wear can dash like the wind. Oh, it's like a little pin. Time to go fast. So fast. Oh my god, I kind of hate it. Take it off! <laughs> Phew. <coughs> Excuse me. I didn't realize you could remove these. That's nice. <sighs> I immediately want to leave. I still am so nervous about getting squished. Now we learned you can unequip. How well? I mean, I just would not play the game anymore if I couldn't remove that. It's terrible. Okay, ready? Zoom, 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 zoom! Oh, I saw it. I saw it wiggling. Oh my god, wait, no! Help us. Mother, help us all. <sighs> it's the unequip item tutorial, yeah. It really is there to teach you you can unequip things. I don't like it at all. Now what?
Now we learn how to shine spark. Let's go show it to Zelfud. Maybe now I can walk on water and I can defeat the fish by walking on water and shooting earth spears down at it. Oh, Zelpa's not gonna care about this thing because it's not something I can hold. Hi, Songbird, welcome in. How's it going? Okay, yeah, Zelpa doesn't care about anything. I'm gonna stop visiting him eventually. Happy Wednesday. I'm doing pretty good. Um, we just got a very silly item. Getting to puddle just a little bit faster, true. I need some water. You love silly things. Look at this item. It makes me super fast! And then you hit the wall. Like, I can't even jump up here normal. Walk on water! Okay, no. You gotta get, like, a running start. Like this. <laughs> nope, go down. Oh, that was close. I need to probably start drawing pictures of these fairies on the wall also we got this we got this there's like a little fairy portrait on the wall oh I also learned something about that boat room so I should go check that out again why is this not there Can I examine these? Yeah, the six-sided star of Eglana bears a striking resemblance to a certain other six-sided star, though with distinct Eglana flavor. It can be found throughout Eglana, suggesting some hidden significance. So. I've seen, like, this triangle we've seen a bunch this pillar looking one the one on the bottom almost reminds me of some of the symbols in those like gridded diagrams I'm gonna take a screenshot We love when things have hidden significance. Fun fact, in one of the Sonic the Hedgehog games, Sonic was supposed to bounce off walls like that when he ran into them. It was removed during playtesting because it slowed the game down and had unfortunate consequences with spikes and pits. Good to know. I'm so <coughs> sneezy tonight, sorry. What was over here again? Nothing. We went over there and it was a dead end, sort of. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna run. 
Oh my god, you went the wrong way, Lumiza. Stupid freaking bats. No! No! I hate the bats, most of all. Most of all, we hate the bats. No, she doesn't walk on water. I was so excited. But she's so fast. Okay, time to take it off. Oops. Now what do we do? Can I do anything else in this area? Make sashimi, yeah. Good idea. This is a cool mural. A diagram of the inverted world tree depicting six branches extending from it. It is thought to be a schematic of Eglana in its entirety. The roots and the tree. to find other places where I can use this item, but I don't know where to use it yet. Let's go back and visit the boat again, and then... I don't know. And then we might be done. Dude looks like Noid from old Domino's commercials? Oh, I'm not familiar. find a save tablet there yet. Before my time, it might be. Is that that character that had like pizza for a face? for this was that it was behind a waterfall and I don't see a waterfall in here so that wasn't actually helpful yet where are there other like big gaps that I can clear by jumping really really far there's a rabbit thing oh yeah I did not know that one I might have to think about it then. I 
I just want to wander for a bit, but it's about time to wrap up anyway, so we're gonna wrap up. Um, we did a lot. We went to Shrine of the Frost Giants. I found a bunch of stuff that I kind of forgotten about, so it was good to double to double back. We got the sprint thingy, the fibula, uh, the rep here, the earth spears, the beharit, another crystal skull, another sigil. We fought Veritra. This is a good. Oh, and we got a ton of software. Oh, I never turned this on. Well, it's fine. We'll do that next time. <laughs> Thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Thanks for hanging out today, everyone. Um, thank you to my Kofi supporters. Oracle the Great, 8-Bit Trav, Toon Wolf, Semi-Cortex, Metal Spring Pro, Megadan, Wymizer, Stowe, Grey They, and AVH4. 